Uh, the internet was lit up on Monday evening when uh, William Barr, Attorney General of the United States, made it clear that he was going to allow the DOJ to get involved in any kind of election irregularity, any cases of election fraud, his DOJ was going to be the ones to go out there and actively investigate this. And everybody started freaking out. Everybody said, this is a coup. Donald Trump is attempting to pull a coup to invalidate the election results and remain president of the United States. Everybody calm down. Like the collective pants wedding that happened on Monday evening was absurd. I mean, we have mocked, I think just about everybody on the right at this point for not accepting the election results. The left needs to chill out about this. And it's not even by the way, like the far left, this is more of like the centrist kind of left that's freaking out at the moment. There's, there's nothing he can do. Even in the order that William Barr gave, he made it clear that only if there's an instance of credible, credible, voter fraud. Can we investigate him? By the way, this is another thing people don't realize that order that he issued. That's already the standing procedure at the DOJ. He literally did nothing new, did nothing new. Okay. <laughs> so relax a minute. Now does Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump, excuse me, uh, want to stage a coup? Absolutely. He does. And we need to be worried about that. We need to be worried about the fact that more and more Republican members of the house and Senate are coming out in support of his challenges. We need to be worried about the fact that 70% of Republicans think that the election results are illegitimate, but we do not need to worry about Donald Trump overturning the results of this election. That's not going to happen. Even if it makes it to the Supreme court, it's almost impossible for that to happen. The reason Florida happened folks was because it was 538 vote difference. We don't have a 538 vote difference in any state right now. Biden has commanding leads. There is no credible evidence of fraud. All the lawsuits, even the ones that Eric Trump is tweeting out saying, Oh my God, when are we going to stop this? It's all hearsay. And it turns out some of it's even brought to us by James O'Keefe noted fraudster. It's all fake folks. Don't feed into the hysteria. Yes. Trump wants to stage a coup, but the coup he's trying to stage right now is designed to fail because that's, that's what they want to happen. They want it to fail, but they want to get the Republicans riled up in the process. That's where they're going to have success. They want every Republican in this country to look at Joe Biden as an illegitimate president. And then for the next four years, hammer on the fact that Joe Biden is illegitimate. And then when it comes time to run again in 2024, that's going to be the platform. It's going to be totally false. It's going to be completely fabricated. It's not going to be based in any reality you or I have ever seen, but it is 100% what they're going to do. So I encourage you bookmark this, you know, save the link, maybe keep it in a word document and open it up. Let's say September of 2024. Let's see how right I am about that. But I can promise you I've watched this for many, many years. We know how they operate. They're not a complicated beast. These Republican operatives, we understand them. They're going to use this relentlessly against the Democrats for the next four years. It's going to be their excuse for obstructing everything Biden does, and they're never going to drop it because it's going to keep that Republican base completely riled up until the 2024 election. Mark my words. That's what all of this is about.